Hey, peoples, Jason Schreier of Kotaku shocks the world and drops a tweet that has everybody a buzz on social media. It looks like Horizon Zero Dawn is coming to PC natively after all. Let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It's your boy, MM2K, back again with another one. Do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up. Y'all know the deal. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right, so um, let's pull this uh, tweet up <laughs> on the screen and let's talk about it. Okay, so Jason Schreier, acclaimed writer, and author of the book Blood, Sweat, and Pixels, a very good book, um, a very definitive book that lets you understand why we're at where we're at in gaming this generation. So I advise everybody to pick it up if you haven't already. Um, he drops an article that or he drops not only an article but in a tweet that has everything, everybody uh, at buzz on social media, and it reads as follows. Okay, time for some good news. Sony's PlayStation 4 exclusive Horizon Zero Dawn is coming to PC this year. Sources tell Kotaku it's an unprecedented move that may help usher in a platform agnostic future. Okay, now let's take a glance at the article. And this is just a glance, a glimpse at it, rather. Um, I don't want to do what I normally do, which is go over the article, give my opinion. I want to focus on the opinion of others because everyone out on social media is in an uproar. <laughs> so let's talk about that, okay? But I just want to let you guys know that the tweet is there, that the article is out there, and if you want to, go ahead and check them out. All right. So here's the deal, y'all. I can kind of get, first and foremost, the angst because... Like Jason alludes to in that tweet, this is unprecedented. Um, and I've said so in a podcast that I did on Next Gen 720's uh, channel not too long ago, where I was talking to the homie Big Money, and I said, Big Money, this day, Sony's never done this in their 24 year history. You know what I'm saying? So this is new stuff is, is abound, you know, and people that recognize that, they're kind of in a, you know, they have an angst. And I get it because we, you know, went through that with Xbox, those of us that were in the Xbox community, to where we saw Phil doing some things, uh, but he was but he was saying different things, and the audio didn't match the visuals, and then lo and behold, he was trying to bring us to a future where gaming wasn't all about headshots and kills, and again, we know gaming ain't about that, but it's just that whole mantra, that whole aura that he was presenting that was um, disheartening to a lot of the hardcore fans that made Xbox what it is. You know what I'm saying? So we saw the revelations of this and we've got this out of our system earlier to where we were trying to say to our PlayStation brethren, we're starting to see signs of that too echoing low key at PlayStation. Beware, we're already fighting this fire over here. We can smell some smoke over here too. And y'all was like, nah, nah, not gonna happen, nah. And to y'all surprise, even though y'all were being hard-headed and stubborn, y'all surprised, look what's happening now. So I get the angst, okay? In addition to that, I get that you guys now have to deal with the Xbox fanboy, the Xbox immunity, because they also echo, look, never say never. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna happen. Trust me, even though originally the homie Randolph Thor had alluded to this and he had leaked this originally, and then it came out that it was coming to PlayStation Now. So people thought that that was how it was coming to PC. So they piled on Randolph Thor something, something heavy and something fierce. Come to find out this is happening. And now Randolph Thor is going through the gaming streets, popping shots and leaving hats on people's sleeves. You know what I'm saying? Big ups to him. And also big ups to Next Gen 720 that's going to have a sit down with him. That's scheduled for his channel. Check out Next Gen 720's channel for more details on that. But with that being said, um... I get those two things, the angst, and then you have to deal with the, the pushback from the Xbox community because they were like, uh-uh, we told you so. So I, I, I understand that. But what I don't understand is the extreme anger from the most staunchest PlayStation fans that are console warriors because this doesn't change anything for you or anything that you find valuable, regardless of how foolish other people may think it is. Everything remains the same for you. Let me, let, let's do this. Let's break it down to the very last compound so y'all can look at this thing from 5,000 feet and understand 
why y'all shouldn't be upset. Why y'all shouldn't be worried. Here's the thing. I would understand if what PlayStation was proposing was the same thing Microsoft was proposing not too long ago. Remember, Microsoft had gave off this aura that they were willing to put their games natively on any platform, anywhere that they would be supported. Remember that? And the only thing that kind of pushed, the, that pulled them back from that somewhat is when they were at Gamescom, there was a whole bunch of people that were like, oh, they were skeptical about Gears 5. Oh, how come y'all ain't showing us nothing? Then they showed off Gears 5 at Gamescom. Everybody was excited, only for PlayStation to smother that news by announcing that they bought Insomniac. Xbox was angry, and in a seething, angry toned letter that they sent to GameIndustry.biz, they had announced, uh, we're no longer pursuing, in so many words, I'm paraphrasing, we're no longer pursuing putting our games natively on other ecosystems, you know, outside of Xbox and PC, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, but prior to that, they gave off an aura that that's, where they, that's what they wanted to pursue. I could understand people's outrage if that's the same thing Sony was trying to do. But Sony's not proposing that. Them putting their games on PC is not the same thing. Look, y'all, PC is a different animal. And take it from somebody that games primarily on PC. Y'all say y'all all got high PC rigs and y'all play PlayStation 4, but that apparently is a lie. Because if y'all did, y'all would understand this as well as I do. Let me break it down for you. Again, PC is a different animal. People who solely game on PC, particularly with tri for AAA games and stuff like that, for the AAA experience, only buy PlayStation 4s for two reasons. Play with their friends if there's certain games that they want to play with their friends that don't game on PC, and for exclusives. However, that's only taking up 10 to 20% of their gaming time because 80 to 90% of their time is being spent on PC. Again, these are people that game primarily on PC. You got to understand the mind of a PC gamer to understand why that's true. Many hardcore PC gamers that do have PlayStation 4s as their secondary device will explain this to you as well, okay? Here's what I'm trying to understand, and here's what I want y'all to really think about. Under those, uh, under those facts, are you trying to tell us, are you trying to tell me that if they don't buy a singular box one time, that this affects you in the long run some way? Like how? I'm, this is what I'm trying to understand. And I've seen, and big ups to the homie um, King Thrash. I've seen the videos. I've asked him to for some insight on his opinion because he's very concerned about this. And I've seen it and I appreciate it. And, and I welcome the discussion. But here's what, again, a PC guy, a hardcore PC guy doesn't buy a box one time. I'm asking, how does that affect you in the long run? Because here's some facts. Under that scenario, with them dropping their games on PC, even if it's day and day, Sony still sells over 1.5 billion pieces of software this generation, if not more. I think it was 1.5, if I'm wrong, it could have been 1.3, but Jim Ryan announced it at CES 2020. They still sell that, if not more, and that's what helps subsidize the games that you love so much from PlayStation is those software sales, okay? And even on the hardware front, even for those of you that watch NPD every month with a monocle, looking for this and looking for that, that that's the all-seeing eye for you, right? People who fit into that litmus, again, that game primarily on PC, but just, but just has uh, PlayStation 4 as their side console. They're the minority of people that have PlayStation consoles, right? I, at a generous um, number that I'm gonna throw out here, maybe, maybe they they make up 20 million of the PlayStation consoles out here. Again, people that game primarily on PC, PC Master Race PC people, they also got a PlayStation, for maybe 20 million of them fit into that scenario. So in that, in, under that scenario, you still sell more consoles Right, let's do the math. 20 million minus, uh, 100 million minus 20 million is 80 million. You still sell more consoles than Xbox. So what's the issue? Even for you staunch NPD watchers. You know what I'm saying? 
you still you still beat Xbox handedly for those bragging rights if that's so precious to you. And under this re- reality, Sony loses no incentive to continue to support the hardware. Again, because the majority of the consoles that are being sold out there are what? PlayStation consoles. And you got to remember Xbox is is more uh is diving more into this realm than PlayStation. So they're going to sell likely even less consoles next generation because they really don't care where you buy the software they they really don't care so i i I just don't get it i don't get it help me understand or or maybe y'all can't help me understand maybe y'all just haven't thought about this thoroughly and y'all need to just think this through a lot more thoroughly but even at that (laughs) even with my confusion and even at that we still welcome the discussion, so bring it on. <laughs> and with that said, that's it from your boy MM2K. Hey, yo, let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below, because like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, you can catch me on the corner every boulevard, baby. Check out the links below to follow me. Those links will lead you to the Broadband Bullies, PNTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and the Stadia Dosage. And with that said, you all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.